Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel Programming Knowledge. In today's Microsoft Excel tutorials video, we are going to see two important features of the Microsoft Excel. And uh, these features are very important whenever you are dealing with a large database. And that is usually the case whenever we are making use of the Microsoft Excel software. So these two features are, first of all, we will see that how can we create a custom list for ourselves? And then we are going to see that how can we use the advanced fill options in Microsoft Excel? So uh, first of all, we would be starting with a custom list options and we are going to see that how can we create a custom list? How can we edit a custom list or how can we delete an existing custom list from the Microsoft Excel? So first of all, we are going to see that what actually is a custom list. Suppose um, you just select any cell and type in the day as Monday. So we all know it's a universal truth that it is the first day of the week. Now, what if we select this cell and drag it downwards like this? So it will automatically be filled with rest of the days of the weeks. Now, if we just same uh, drag it towards the right, then again, it would be filled with the, the days of the weeks, corresponding days of the weeks. So that is cause the Microsoft Excel knows that what next thing it needs to include whenever it is given the data as Monday. Similarly, what if we type in Jan, that is the first month of the year. Now we drag down and uh, you can see that the corresponding names of the months in the format that we have given, that is the three letter format are shown over here. So how does Microsoft Excel is getting this data? Microsoft Excel is getting this data cause it is available in something that is known as a custom list. Now, how can you access or view this custom list? To view it, you can just go to file. Here you will find an option called as options. When you click on it, uh, there are some different options that are present. You can just go to advanced. And when you go to advanced, you will see these kinds of options. What you got to do is scroll to the very bottom. And here you will find something written as create lists for use in sorts and fill sequences. And then there would be a button for edit custom lists. So that is what we are going to do that we are going to click on it. And here are all the custom lists that are present with Microsoft Excel, like Sun, Mon, Tue, Wed, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Jan, Feb, Mar, April, January, February, March, and so on. Now these two lists I have created uh, beforehand. So I'm going to show you in this tutorial that how can you create your own custom list? And apart from that, how can you delete an existing custom list? So whenever I typed this word Jan over here, Microsoft Excel has a list, a custom list that shows the next data would be Feb. So that is why it filled it with this data. Similarly, I have created these two custom lists of my own. And uh, if I type in any word or any country name, uh, which is present in this list, then the data would be filled according to this list. Let's see how. So I'm just going to close it for a while and I'm going to type in India. Now, if I just drag it towards the bottom, then you can see that the names of the countries have been copied like India, China, USA, UK, France, Spain, Italy, and Iran. And it is because this was a custom list present in Microsoft Excel that I have created previously. Now, what happens if I type any other country's name, which is not present in this list? Suppose I type in Brazil and then I just drag it towards the bottom. Then this word or this country name Brazil would be copied down. So that is the difference between uh, creating a custom list and getting a value which is not present in a custom list. So then again, go to file options, advanced and go to edit custom list. So we are going to create a new custom list of our own. So first of all, you got to do is uh, click on this new list option. Then you got to provide the list entries. So this time I'm just going to type in the names of the fruits like apple. Once you have typed the word, just press the enter key for the next entry. Then type in bananas, then enter orange, enter grapes, enter kiwi 
enter so this is the list of the fruits that i have got and once you are happy with your list you can just click on the word add and you will see that your list has been added over here now what if you want to edit a custom list that is already present in microsoft excel so what you got to do is uh, just select on that list suppose this is the name of the country's list that i'm going to edit now so i have selected on this list and simply just bring over your stylus over here i'm just going to delete this italy from here so just delete it and then click on add once again and then you will see that the changes that have been made to the latest list has been moved towards the bottom now the word italy is removed from this list furthermore um if you want to delete any list that is already existing so what you can do is you can just click on this delete options once your list is selected from this custom lists option so i have selected this country's list and i'm just going to click on delete so this is a warning that would be shown that list would be deleted permanently so just click on okay and your list is deleted now there is another option how you can uh, add list to this custom lists option that is through importing list from the cells so if you have some data into your cells already present like the names of the employees and you want to make a list out of it so you need not copy the single names again and again in this list entries box you can just import it directly from the cells so how can we do that uh, there is an option called import lists from cells you just click over here and drag all over the cells to which you want to copy the list so i'm just going to uh, copy these country names and then you can see that these cells are selected then click on import and you will see that this list is um, now available in the list entry section and then you can click on add and this list would be added so that is how you can create custom lists of your own uh, through importing the data from the cells or if you want you can also just type in the values over here you can delete any of the values you can edit the list you can delete the whole list as well and uh, then you can just click on ok and you will be back to your worksheet now the list once created lives for the lifetime uh, into your software and it is available in all the worksheets now it is a universal truth for microsoft excel as well uh, suppose i type in the word or sorry the country name as india then i just drag down and it will know that it has to copy that list it has to follow that list that custom list and has to copy the words like um, or the names of the countries like china usa uk france italy spain etc but what happens uh, in some cases what you want to do is you do not want to follow this list you simply want that if you write india you want that like brazil is copied over here you want just india to be copied over to the rest of the cells now how can you do that for that we have an option of advanced fill and how can we use it i'm just going to show you first of all type in india and then uh, you got to select some of these cells up to which you want to copy the data suppose up to this cell i want to copy this data that is my data is present in the cell d3 and i want to copy my data which is the name of the country india up to the cell d15 so what will i do i will select all these cells and then i will go to my home tab in the home tab there is an editing group and in editing group you will find an option called fill so when you click on it there are four options present down fill right fill up fill and the left fill what i'm going to do is click on this down option or alternatively you can also use the shortcut as control d so when i do that you can see that instead of the list only this um, data that was present in the first cell that is name of the country india is now filled over here and that is how you can omit following the list and just copy the data and uh, again if you want to do it in any direction you can easily do it suppose i want to do it in the right direction then i'm just going to uh, select the cells and then press control r that is its shortcut for filling the data in the right direction and if similarly i want to fill it into the left direction then uh, you can go just go to this option and press this left and if you want to fill it in the upwards direction you can just uh, 
select the cells one again once again like this and press uh, the shortcut or you can just follow this over here so it is how it's done uh, and that is you can fill the same data without following the custom list as well or if you want you can follow the custom list as well so that is all over uh, the tricks in today's microsoft excel tutorial i hope you all have enjoyed it for more such tutorials keep watching the youtube channel programming knowledge thank you